skills. I'm gonna work, work, work. Do you guys see the star on my face? I'm gonna, I'm gonna sit on my face, kids. Hey, hi. So today, where's I in you? Ginger beer, khamere, as some note in our traditional lingo. So yeah, nothing to it. Uh, just takes stays to sit, but hey, this is it. Let's get it. Alrighty, so we're going to take 500 milliliters of water. We're going to add that inside our pot so that we can make 4 liters of khamere. But for now, just the 500 milliliters of water. Mix that in with some of your brown sugar and help it dissolve inside this pot. Basically, we're going to create a nice little ginger khamere syrup inside this pot. Then we're going to take a break from that. We're going to then cut our ginger and then we're going to cut our pineapple. Now, we're not going to use the insides of the pineapple. We're going to use just the peels, so make sure you cut Cut the peels nicely. Do not be stingy. So cut the peels and then put the inside of your pineapple, which is the edible part usually, somewhere else so that you can eat that later. Then we're going to take the ginger powder and we're going to add that into our syrup inside the pot. Whatever powder you want to use, which is ginger, that is okay. Then we're going to take our acids and then we're going to mix that in with our pineapple leaves. Oh, not leaves, peels. Hello, Lissaho, come through. With our ginger and then we're going to seal that in this pot. Medium heat, nothing too high. And then we're going to give it 15 minutes before we come back and we stir it. Then we're going to open it and then we're going to add our yeast. And then we're going to mix, mix, mix everything up until it is mixed well together. Give it an additional five minutes before you open it again so that everything seeps through, that flavor seeps through. And then you can add your water to reach that four liter mark, as you can see right over there. And then we're going to give it a nice little stir. Do not stir like you're crazy, otherwise it will spill. This is, it's a lot. Okay, it's a lot of ginger beer. Khamera for those who know Khamera. And then we're going to seal it up and give it an additional 10 minutes in that pot. Now, once it is done with the 10 minutes, switch off your stove and then transfer it into a nice big Tupperware or whatever type of uh, sealable container. And then let that sit somewhere in a warm place for three days, as you saw on the screen. And then you can open it and then you can mix it to make sure everything has been mixing well, all the flavors in there. And then we're going to now strain it. It's a lot of work here. And thens and thens and thens. But you get the idea. Then I'm going to take a cloth and I'm going to take my strainer because I don't like those little granules that are inside some other type of hammers that I get around. So I just prefer a nice clean ginger beer with zero granules, zero anything, just the liquid so that you can drink it and enjoy it nicely. Then once you're done straining it, it's going to take a bit of time. So just be patient. Unless if you have like a really, really thin, like thin, thin strainer, then it's going to work to your favor. But if you do not have one of those thin, thin strainers, then you can use a cloth like this. And you can use a strainer just so that there's like double protection and how it's going to sift out all the granules. So that you just get that nice little liquid that comes from the khamere, which is your ginger beer. But anyway, once you are done with this entire process, you're going to then give it a nice little mix once again. And then you're going to transfer this into a nice jug that you can obviously put in the refrigerator or in the fridge, however you want to pronounce it or put it, as long as it is in the fridge so that it can get nice and cold before you serve it. And hey, if you're one of those people who likes it super, super cold, by all means, add some ice like I did here. Add the ginger beer or the khamer, you know, for most khamer. Give it a nice little stir and just enjoy it. I tell you, this goes down on a nice hot day, preferably around these seasons because there's a lot of eating that goes down. So it brings the family together. I enjoy it. My family enjoys it. My friends enjoy it. So, hey, it's one of those A-class beverages for me. Okay, it's in a league of its own, I would say. The only downfall is that it takes... A while to sit so you have to wait two three days but other than that it's a good one anywho happy holidays